You want to start or should I? Okay. So this is a called Woodpecker and it's a seam carving tool. As you know, seam carving is now yes. all the fad and you have seen the dick post and the video. So, well, Joa had started working on a seam carving implementation. And Mario as well. We did it without knowing that each other was working on it. Yeah, and then, then, well, it turned out that we threw our things together and found somebody who thought this is cool to be turned into an application. And this is now will be part of Aviary, which is a suite of several tools. There will be Phoenix, with a, it's like a Photoshop clone. There will be an Illustrator type of thing, a font editor, and lots of others. Wow. And this will be a micro application inside, which is oh, all for okay. resizing. And, and when will, will that come out? Uh, well, as usual, it's <laughs> actually they, well, there will be, there's a, they will release tool by tool, I guess. Yes, uh, every, so the, the Woodpecker tool, I guess, will pretty soon be available for public alpha, public beta, because, well, we have gotten pretty far. Yes. So, but I can't tell you any exact dates because that's, uh -huh. of course, we are not the, the company, we are just the, uh -huh. the developers. Yes, amazing. Well, show us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, actually, I don't know. Well, okay, now this is for development, of course, so we have some uh, recent images. These are our example images. You have seen that on Yoa's website probably. So this is an example of an image. Exactly. And now, well, there's uh, first a little tool which allows you to just prepare that stuff. So, for example, if you have freshly cut, you can cut crop stuff away from the edges. This is more for convenience, so you don't have to do it later. The actual fun part is, of course, now when you say, okay, Maybe I want to make it smaller. Small, make this hole a bit smaller so it fits into my uh, whatever layout I have prepared for. So, okay. now this is the plan target size. And if you say, well, let's go with it, well, we just can start rendering it, right? Yeah, sure. So, if you want, you can watch it now whilst it's cutting away all these little carves here. And as you see, well, it tries to find some random paths. It's good because then uh, if they are not random enough, they, there might be artifacts showing. Yes. So, but it, it always tries to cut away the, mo the least important parts. Uh -huh. And the actual difference you see right now is that, you know, it removed the part in between the two characters or at the edges. And the image has been resized. So, and now, well, there are other things you can do. Of course, if, for example, you want, want to enlarge the picture, so maybe you say add pixels. Add pixels and make and, it maybe Yeah, bigger. make it wider. So what will happen then? Well, add a little bit more. It will try to add new pixels to that whole image. And uh, yeah, of course also pixels that will not be, it will not become obvious that they have been inserted. That is the difficult part. Uh -huh. So Could it let's be used see what for it do. Prints or well, it could, of course, as you see, it's flash and it's not like uh, super fast, but yes, it can work up to the, the like yeah, the maximum, maximum size, size of 2880 by 2880. Yeah. But you might have to include some waiting time there, like uh, yes. be a bit patient. <laughs> but as you see, it has added. We are still working on some issues which happen in there. Um, oh, it's good. Oh, in the middle, but um, but uh, that is like. That's part of more of the science behind the whole algorithm, but it's not like a it's not like a rendering fault. So we try to find certain ways around uh, how to avoid these things. Yes, yes. That might come later. And we also oh yeah support Important. more. Yeah, support actually exactly what the online video was telling you. It was showing like the delete brush and protect brush, where you can say I don't want to be, have this area modified. And we try to do the same, so actually for an example we can make it smaller again. Yes. And maybe we don't want to yeah, get rid of away. get rid of something. We, have we to want to get rid of something. So for instance we have here the smaller guy and we say, okay, we brush over him and this whole area and mm -hmm. probably it will cut him out now. We can also say maybe we don't want to erase the big one. Well it will not erase the big one anyway. Yes, right? <laughs> you know, we can just say we want to protect him and say yeah. Now he won't get deleted, and when we render it right now... Oh. Oops! Oh, what did you choose? Oh, oh yeah, yeah you, you, we picked add pixels, go yeah, to yeah. the... resize mode. Oh, yes, and you should resize it to... No, it's correct, it's fine, it's it's fine. fine yes. So how about for video and audio? 
Uh, well, we work on that. We haven't found, thought about the right name for that tool but yet. Technically, it's a bit like MP3, isn't it? You cut out the, the, bit, the yeah. unnecessary bits and just put the things that you that you, you put your focus here, on. Actually, you leave them, yeah. And here, you remove the stuff that you cannot. Yeah. Well, you can see it, but you don't really notice it. Yeah. So it's sort of the same technique. What you can see right now is... Well, it's gone, but it's there, gone. again, there yes. are, there's, there's some it's issues with the general technique. It's, well, you see that, the, 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 that since the sky from the left edge has been brighter. moved to the, into the brighter area, there are some visible edges. We also try to get rid of those, but it's, it's again, part of the algorithm which uh, simply removes. works like that. Yeah. So we, add, we try to find some ways around that, yes. which is actually not part of the original... Uh, Algorithm. algorithm that those guys, um, what are their names? Yes, Your because in their original version, you <laughs> only masked the parts that you wanted to uh, uh, leave, to cut away. Well, no, they had also a protection tool. Yeah. They had the both tools. Yes, the, the protection tool worked only on the on the object itself and not on the whole Oh, it did. Scene. It has to, no? Oh, you it, had to... It, it's uh, definitely, that's what you have to do, because uh -huh. uh, it always has to cut away a whole seam. That is, uh -huh. uh, from there's no way bottom, around that. Left to right. Okay. But, uh, well, maybe you open another one of the... Oh, or later. let's see, for example, let's have a... So once more about the protection and deletion tool. So because in this one there is not really an area which will well the sky when when I delete the sky will probably be the part it likes to cut most. Yes. But so let's say I want to keep the sky now totally and maybe let's say I want to get uh, rid of well somehow these parts I don't know maybe this is something I don't like. Yes. Okay and let's uh, again resize set a new target size, make it small, like a real, real tight horizon, and uh, render. So you see it always cuts in these areas and protects the sky. Uh -huh. So this is then the result. <laughs> yes. We can show it without protection maybe. Oh yeah, and let's, uh, yeah, yeah, let's see if we clear those maps again, so you can see the difference. Render. So, as you see now, the, because the sky, in the sky it will be most, uh, part, well, there the Amazing. effect doesn't get seen as much. But the other way around, if you're making it bigger. Yes. Does it add more sky? It because that's well, easy? Yes. It's, the, it it's the one that's not that much apparent, so... Yeah. Um, it would take if you want to see, we it just it make it bigger. It removes the simple parts and it adds the simple parts. So, part let's, exactly. let's okay. make this bigger here. But you can also protect the sky again. And yes. It will not Add all the time in the sky. For oh, okay. oh I, I chose the wrong mode again. Sorry. We go. To, this is now. It first scaled it up and now cuts away things because usually cutting away things gives you more beautiful results because this adding in seams. We have this kind of chewing gum effect we try to avoid. still avoid, but we just say add pixels here. Uh, and uh, let's see. Now, you see, it always uh, adds new seams in the sky. And I think now we should use a lower precision, right? That's what you said before. Exactly. If you, you can use, we, have, we implemented different algorithms of how those um, seams will be found. Yes. And um, we have techniques that find always the best one, and we have also some techniques that would find seams that go random through the picture. Mm -hmm. And actually we found out if you make it bigger, it's better to use pixels that are more random, because you will not get this chewing gum effect. It, always yes. the same areas, mm -hmm. repeatedly getting bigger and bigger. And if you use less pre precision and more random seams, it will add them in different locations and it actually looks better even mm -hmm. without losing precision. But as you see, yes. more seams make it also more slower. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, might, I might have a bit over, went over the top with this amount. <laughs> so, actually, the less amount and the less precision is the best. How much precision oh. do you think, like this? And less amount. Oh, less amount, exactly. okay. Exactly, you should keep it so at this like zero or... Really at zero? Like Something like that. Like Let's that, see, yeah. this should be blazing fast. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you can see it's removing the chewing gum effect a little bit already. Yeah. Because ah. it's getting more random. Yes. So, bring, here we are. Long tree. <laughs> yeah, and of course there will be some other tools uh, which allow you to do a little bit of retouch manual retouching uh, wow. when there are artifacts. Is it all in flash? Yes, of course. It's all, all AS3 it's built in flex. And if you protect the sky, yes. you well, it. Yeah, you want to see that? It will resize probably at the bottom then. Yeah, probably. So let's paint over here and see what happens. Yep. <clears throat> wow. 
Wow. Of course, now you see that stuff gets stretched here, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, yeah, it's not the. Yes, so I, I prefer the... cutting away stuff to adding on things uh -huh. because adding on will always give you these. Yes. Uh, you don't yes. have the these information strips. you cannot do yes. it, so. Mm -hmm. So, but if you have a close look at the video, at the original video, you can, you, see, the you can see the same effects. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully, pretty soon you will be able to see this tool on creationonthefly.com. Creationonthefly.com. Yes, you can have okay. a look already. There's a blog which talks about the ongoing projects. Ah, that's interesting. So, yeah. Thank you very much for this demonstration. Oh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> and You're good welcome. luck working on it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>